guys, it's Sandy here and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to show you step by step how to transform this old boring dresser into this hottest flip of all time. And I'm going to tell you why it became the hottest flip of all time. So stay tuned for that at the end of the video. And before we jump right into the first step, I would love to tell you this dress I went crazy, like super crazy. I had more than a thousand people view the dresser over a night. Yes, more than a thousand people view it over a night. It was so insane. I woke up and saw the number. I was like, what the fuck, what happening? And I also had more than 60 people saved the listing over a night as well. And I woke up with more than 20 messages. Yes, 20 messages. People messaged me. And I keep getting the message every 5 to 10 minutes, you all. Like, seriously, every 5 to 10 minutes, I would get the message from people asking to buy the item. And I even had people offer to pay right away in full amount of the dresser. I was like so overwhelmed, so happy for the dresser as well. So let's start it. I bought this dresser off from Marketplace for 50 bucks. It still works perfectly fine except on the tabletop that we can assign it later. And now we're gonna find if there is any damages that we have to fix but look like everything still look perfect except on the tabletop that we will send down later and it's time for the first step we should be moving the old hardware and you would want to fix all the minor damages in this first step as well before you start doing anything else The second step is to clean everything inside and out. This is to remove the dust and to check if there is anything in the drawer, any belonging that's from the previous owner. The third step is to scrub sand. Now I'm using 120 to remove the mask that I showed you earlier. For this dresser, I'm not going to scrub sand the whole thing because I'm going to use a different kind of the primer and I'm so excited to show it to you, so stay tuned for that. Once you've finished sanding, you would want to use a cleaning product to clean everything once again inside out. Now the fourth step is to prime everything and this time I'm not going to use the water-based primer but I'm going to use the acrylic based primer instead. This is why I don't have to sand the dress up. The acrylic based primer giving the base coverage when compared to water-based or oil-based primer. And the reason that I'm using the spray primer is because it's not required to clean up after and I heard that if you use shellac based primer it's hard to clean up. 
However, I would recommend to use this spray primer only when you need a quick and easy makeover for only one project as it comes in 369 grams. If you're interested, just check the link down below. I leave the link there where you can have a look at the product. And now we are at the most exciting part, which is painting. I love painting. It shows the difference between before and after, and I love this color so much. I mix this color myself with a little bit of white and a little bit of darker green color. The last step is to add the drawer liners in and also add the hardware as well. I think this is the most time consuming step that I ever done. Lining the drawer is very easy but you will need to be so patient. Especially when you have so many drawers to line the drawer liners. I think it took me for more than half an hour to finish lining these drawers because it has six drawers now it's time to add the hardware in I didn't use the old hardware because I think it's not going to give a new look and new vibes of refreshment so I add this gold knob instead and I think it would match nicely so let's see So here it is how it turned out. What do you think guys? I just can't believe about the color that I mixed it myself. It looks so pretty. Comment down below and let me know what you think. So after watch the video, you probably wonder how much did I sell the dresser for. So I bought the dresser for 50 bucks and I sold it for 540 and I made roughly 480. So that's not bad at all. And you probably wonder why it got so popular, even though it looks so simple. So I think it got so popular because of two reasons. The first one is that because of my market, I am located in Sydney and green color and white color is very really easy to sell in my area. I think it's because it's soft, it's very really soothing and it's easy to match in any interior or any home decor that's the first reason and the second reason that it's very popular is because it has a good side a very good side it's had a big deep drawers and it's had a good side perfect for nursery or master bedroom or second bedroom i say this because in the nursery room i has got so many people message me that they would love to use the dresser for their temporary changing table. It's actually really smart that people use the dresser at their temporary changing table so they don't actually to get the changing table but they can use on top of the dresser and they can still keep the dresser for a long time as well. And it's also a good side for a master bedroom is because it can be stored so much of many things in the drawers so it's perfect for the master bedroom or even second bedroom it's not too big it's not too small and it's also can use for the holiday home as well so i think there's two reasons why it got so popular overnight and it's so within two days so i would say that every time before you start sleeping something it would be best for you to do some research on the color, which one is popular in your market, which one is not. 
this will be very useful for your flipping as well alrighty I hope this video is very helpful for you if you have any questions just comment down below if you like this video don't forget to give me a thumbs up and if you would love to see something like this again don't forget to subscribe down below as well I'd be so happy alrighty bye guys thanks for watching